It's only the transitional way that we're going to get a, a new face as well. If it's not working, then I don't think it's feasible. Uh, how are they going to get out of this morass? Matt. Even though I want well, I don't, I don't think this is a matter of elections or not elections. I mean, elections are a political fetish that a lot of people focus on. Um, but stepping back, the issue is that there are political cycles. And Salva Kiir's political cycle, this government's political cycle, ends next year. So the question is, what happens when that cycle ends, the legitimacy of this government is going to be challenged. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the opposition, any opposition, uh, internal or external, will have grounds to declare this leadership illegitimate um, and the prospects for stability will decrease. Mm -hmm. So, yes, the uh, revitalized, resurrected, recycled peace deal, whatever you want to call it, uh, may call for elections next year. And, and I agree that this may be a completely unrealistic prospect. Yep. But if not, then what? And uh, I... I could not agree more that possibly a grand coalition government, government of national unity uh, would be a way forward. That may be a no more realistic uh, prospect than elections. Than elections uh, but the, the, the challenge for South Sudan now is how do you make use of the year remaining? Um, will the leaders of South Sudan um, step up to the challenge? of trying to complete their constitution, uh -huh. which is as yet incomplete. incomplete. Uh, never mind the electoral legislation, which is going to govern the whatever kind of transition happens, or perhaps to preempt this electoral challenge by coming up with an agreement on some kind of hybrid transition. transition yes. uh, but the, the fact is that if they don't address these issues, if time is allowed to pass, uh -huh. Uh, without some kind of response to these challenges, then South Sudan will find itself in a deeper and deeper crisis as the term of office of this government expires. Um, and I think we'll see a lot more special envoys, as Professor Kagwanja <laughs> said, um, flitting to and from Juba, uh, trying to cobble together solutions um, that the South Sudanese haven't found for themselves. So what do, these, uh, do they normally do? They go there, twiddle their thumbs?